Ciao! Welcome to Coffee, Coffee, Coffee. Today is a day of coffee. There we is go. Is it any other day of not coffee? I, no. No. Every day is coffee day. So this is your place for Average Joe Coffee Reviews, and today we are reviewing a coffee. Lavazza Perfetto Espresso mm. Roast. So it's not espresso powder, just to get that out of the way. It, this is an espresso roast. Right. So it's ground coffee, 100% Arabica, made, in, well, actually, yeah, made in Torino, Italy, but the beans are not from Torino. They're from somewhere. Somewhere else. It if we find out, if we find out, we'll put that on the website. Yeah. It doesn't say where they get the beans from, but yeah. So it's supposed to have uh, a dark and velvety taste. Uh, it says that it should have lingering caramel notes. Mm -hmm. I will say, we love Lavazza coffee in general, right? Yeah. I, I mean, mean now, but I mean, we've had it before. We really love it. The smell yeah. is magical. Mm -hmm. But the question is, do we really like it? Because what we've noticed is, as we've been doing these, these reviews, we've started to notice different things in coffee. So it's like sometimes those things that we maybe didn't notice before or didn't think about before, now we do. So mm -hmm. it's played with our... our our palates a little bit, I think. So. Our mouth emotions. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Let's try uh, it. Well, do we want to talk about price first? Yeah. You bought it. I did buy it. It was about six dollars and four twenty-eight cents. I think six twenty-eight. I think because the total bill was like twelve ninety-eight. So six forty. There you go. Six forty. A bag. For a 12 ounce bag. Not bad. Not bad. For okay. Lavazza. Yeah. It's supposed to be Italy's favorite coffee. Mm hmm But I have asked a couple of Italians and they said it is one of the favorites, mm -hmm. but maybe not the, the favorite. favorite. Right, yeah. I it's, have, a, yeah. I have a, a thought that in Italy they have Folgers and it says America's favorite coffee. <laughs> right. Okay, so would you like to Let's taste it? Let's try it. All right. Hopefully the camera stayed focused on us. Oh, yeah. Or else we might have to drink more coffee later. Yes. I do like the smell mm -hmm. of the... I, I actually like the smell of the coffee grounds better than the coffee when it's made. In general or for just this cup? This cup, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what are your thoughts? I need to get a mug that doesn't transfer heat outside of the this part. If you know of one, yeah. buy it for me and send it care of. <laughs> no. I'm drinking. Okay, well, I'll give my thoughts first since you seem to be hesitant. Uh, overall, I like it. It's not my absolute favorite. Right. Uh, we wanted to get Gran Selezione, which is, we think, our current favorite coffee in general. Mm -hmm. But um, they didn't have it at Publix. And there was no spot for it at Publix either. Normally there is, and now I'm kind of afraid what if they're not carrying it anymore. <sighs> so we'll see. But that's a different worry for a different day. Yeah. I like it. I can taste the caramel at the end of it, like after I, like as a, uh, as a, as a lingering taste, aftertaste. Oh, it does say lingering, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Uh, kind of as an aftertaste, not so much when I'm drinking it, like it's like, mmm, mm, caramel. Mm -mm. He has such a refined palate because I, I don't get any caramel. I was thinking... Um, I probably have a psychological palate. Because <laughs> you read this stuff beforehand. Yes. Uh, like, I think I kind of picked up on maybe a little smoky flavor. I didn't get caramel, but kind of smoky, which is kind of, yeah. I mean, caramel kind of does have that you know, car well, caramelization is almost burning something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, right on the edge. So, anyway, would we buy it again? That's the question. I have my answer. Um, I would say yes. Yeah. If, you know, prices are mm -hmm. the same and whatnot. We have other coffees that are less expensive, but if it's not available, okay. There are some coffees we would avoid and not buy, mm -hmm. regardless of if it was like $2 or something. Right. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I would definitely buy it again. And this one is actually slightly lighter in roast than the Grand Celestione, which we thought differently before. And they've got one more past this, which is Intenso. Intenso. Which I've never seen before, but maybe we can find it. 
So, yeah, I haven't seen it in the place either. Yeah. Maybe the bag is on fire and that's why you can't find it. I don't know. It's intense. I hope, not. I hope it's not on fire. It's still roasting. That's, oh, gosh. That's why you can never find it. It's not available yet. All right. I think that about does it for this episode. Yes. So if you have any questions for us about coffee, we don't have a lot of answers. But we can... We, ooh, go sorry. ahead. Yeah, I was going to say we are going to do a coffee... Uh, a, a show about the price of coffee and like how that affects your budget like are you busting your budget with coffee right i've got it almost in the can maybe we'll surprise you about how much you're spending or how little you're spending on at home brewing especially oh, yeah. in mm -hmm. comparison to uh buying it somewhere else i'm gonna break it down break it down wiki wiki so uh, uh, reach out to us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, go to our website, coffeecoffeecoffeeshow.com and uh, find out more information on our coffee table, which outlines all of our reviews and shows you what we paid for each one, where it comes from, what the flavor hint is, and uh, whether or not we would buy it again. There you go. Okay. Bye. See ya. <laughs>